And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from the Helix here in Dublin, Ireland, this is the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds scheduled in the lightweight division. The three judges scoring this bout at cage side on the 10-point must system. Ben Cartledge, David Leatherby, and Barry Oglesby. And when the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge, veteran Mark Gunner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, and the fighters are ready. Dublin, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a mixed martial artist standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing it officially 154 and 1 half pounds. His professional record stands at 9 victories, 3 defeats, 1 draw with 1 no contest. Fighting out of Paris, France, here is Damien Frankenstein Lapilla! And next, his opponent across the cage, finding out of the red corner. He is a mixed martial artist, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Official weight, 155 and one third pounds. As a professional, in this, his return to the cage, he brings 10 victories, just one defeat. He is the fighting son, the fighting pride of Donegal, Ireland. Here is Irish Joe Duffy! Understand the rules you're fighting under. List them all times. Keep yourself protected. If I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves. Let's do this. Mark Goddard giving final instructions. Joe Duffy in the white shorts. Damien Lapilus in the blue trunks. Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer calling the action for you. Here live for the first time on Channel 4. I've been really curious to see how this breakaway it's going to affect the mental approach of Joe Duffy. I'm sure we'll find out fairly quickly in this main event. Duffy's not been sat in his front room. He's a master seven a record as a professional boxer in his time away from the cage. Now he's back doing what he does arguably best, mixed martial arts. Both these guys with a lot of zip on their strikes. Duffy is often mentioned as the man who beat Norman Park and the last man to beat Conor McGregor. Both those wins taking place in Ireland. He's here in Ireland tonight to kickstart his mixed martial arts career as he attempts his second run at the Cage Warriors okay. gold. It's and tonight, Josh, is it the night that he steps out of that shadow and becomes his own man? I mean, it could be. It's, it's just preventing to see how the boxing training is going to play into this because he always actually had, despite finishing people by submission, very fluid striking. It was always very interesting to watch. He always moved well. But uh, I'm told that it's just gone to another whole level now. But you, you can't sleep on Damien Lapalus. I mean, this guy, you know, he himself is very well-rounded. It's very athletic, good in the clinch. This is no easy feat in front of Joe Duffy here. Absolutely not. There's no easy fights on Cage Warriors. The absolute cream of the crop of European mixed martial arts. Damien Lapalus is here for a reason, and it's not to make up the numbers. Duffy with a nice body shot there. Yeah, he's fainting with that lead hand. Occasionally he's firing it out, and it really is very long, very lean, straight to the target. But he's holding it low, almost baiting his opponent. Lapalus isn't going to win a boxing match against Joe Duffy. No, what he can do unlikely. is attack with his legs. What he can do is grapple. All facets of the game available to him here in mixed martial arts. Nice jab and a leg kick from the Frenchman. Duffy soaking up the applause here from the crowd. Tries to close his man down, throws an elbow on the exit. And just both guys having a bit of trouble establishing a really effective range here. They're throwing the strikes, they're mixing it up, but neither one's quite got that was a couple of inches on the end of it that you really want to put someone away. It'll be interesting to see whether Duffy's chasing a finish early or whether he wants to rack up the cage time after being away from the sport for three years. First priority has to be obviously beating the man in front of him. Not here to play around as Lapa 
Just Duffy on the attack, though. Nice lead left hook there from Duffy, keeping his man honest. Yeah, he's dictating the pace at the moment. He's in the centre of the cage. Forcing his opponent to move around the outside. If you're enjoying the action here tonight at Cage Warriors 70, joining the conversation on social media at Cage Warriors. And of course, check out our Cage Warriors YouTube channel. All Cage Warriors fights from the past few years available to watch free of charge. Some fantastic action, including previous fights from Joe Duffy. Duffy pouring away with the jab there. It's a very controlled opening four minutes here from both guys. Stinging leg kick and a nice right hand behind it from Damien Lapoulos. Yeah, really good combination from the Frenchman there. Looks like he's finding his rhythm now. It's the kicks that have been doing it for him so far. Standing very side on. Able to really get some talk in those kicks. Duffy though coming in with a nice punch up against the cage. Lapula shakes his head now. I mean, they've been nice combinations, you know, the punches onto the kicks. We just saw the punch onto the knee. Doing all the right things, but not quite able to hit the target with the real power strike at the end of those combinations. Lapula's proving very awkward for Joe Duffy to shut down here. Lots of movement, keeping that head in motion, making it difficult for Duffy to pick his shots. Yeah, we've already seen tonight that it can look as though one fighter's in control, but all these guys are so explosive. And Duffy lands a, a short right hand there. They're so explosive that if they land a significant strike, they can put the fight away at any moment. Irish Joe Duffy completes his first round back in mixed martial arts. I think a good first round for him there, getting the better of the strikes, but not overcommitting, not hurrying, just making some good variation. Both guys landed here and there. Let's have a look at the replays as Joe Duffy goes searching for that early right to the body. And he really does rip into those punches when he has his band set. Kicks as well coming from Duffy. You see he has no intention to tie up there as he forces the Frenchman back to this kind of open range fighting, which is clearly what both are happy to do at the moment. And just gave Lapalus a shave with that right hook there. Lapalus shaking his head no. I mean, Lapalus had a couple of good moments himself, that good kick and uh, lead hand combination. But I mean, when you add to it the generalship of uh, Joe Duffy to control the center of the cage, and dictate where that fight was taking place, you've got to say it's probably a good first round going narrowly 10-9 to the Irishman. Duffy already out, taking the centre of the cage. Ready, guys. Fight. Second round underway, Joe Duffy, Damien Lapilus. Main event here of Cage Warriors 70. Nice. And once again, Duffy proceeds to walk his man down against the cage. Looking to unleash that right head kick. Looking to unleash the boxing combinations. Lapidus though staying on his toes, head kick of his own. Caught the gloves of Duffy with that one. There's a lot more feints coming from Joe Duffy as well. Really got the Frenchman guessing, but the, you know, Lapidus is. Uh, Getting in some good shots as well, really mixing his attempts up. And there's a nice combination from Duffy. His corner have been saying to him, not one at a time. They want the punches and punches. Big body shot there from Duffy. Again, he looked for the knee. He looked for a huge hook after that, but neither finding the mark. I think that was the first shot that really made Lapilus sit up and take notice. The Frenchman firing straight back with a kick to the body, though, still very much in this fight. Nice jab from Lapidus. Hands low for Duffy. And anyone
everyone thinking that Joe Duffy would be given an easy fight for his first contest back at Cage Warriors has been proven wrong here, Josh. Lapalus proving very awkward. And I partly expected Lapalus to really look for some takedowns, look for some clinches. He has good work with the knees in those clinch exchanges as well, but at the moment he, you know, he's shaking his head saying, no, you're not landing, but he's, he's being marched around the ring here. A bit of game, gamesmanship there from the Frenchman. Duffy getting those shots in now, working well to the body. See if he keeps, you know, throwing that jab and then coming with the right hand to the body. That uppercut style right hand, sooner or later he's going to switch it to just a straight right cross and it's going to, it's going to land flush. What does Lapalus need to do here, Josh, to stamp his authority on this fight? Because although he's hanging in there, it's kind of one-way traffic in terms of offense at the moment. Lapalus just reacting. I mean, it's a tough one because he, he's not getting caught to the extent where, you know, it's probably impressing upon him that sense of urgency to change his game plan. But, you know, I do feel like he's coming out on the worst end of these striking exchanges and, you know, he needs to look to try and switch it up here. We're down to the last two minutes. And, you know, he's quite potentially going to be two rounds down if it keeps going this way. And then he's got no choice but to try and surge forward with a bit more reckless abandon. Whereas, you know, if he perhaps change things up now, he might be able to nick the round. Nice oblique kick to the leg there from Duffy. One right back from Lapalus. Left hook to the body from Irish Joe Duffy. Looking to up the tempo here. Final 90 seconds of the second round. Lapalus looking for the first take of the fight. Doesn't get it. Yeah, it was good work from Lapalus. Switching it up, as we said. It wasn't able to get the takedown. That was a good sprawl from Joe Duffy, ensuring his hips were as far away from the searching arms of uh, Lapalus as possible. Really is how fast can you get your hips to the floor to defend those oncoming takedown attempts. Fast enough for Joe Duffy. That was good from uh, the Frenchman. It gives Duffy something else to think about. And that inside kick is uh, doing some really good work for him. If you can follow it up with some upper body strikes. Duffy seems to be really hunting those hooks to the body. Nice knee there from Duffy. Lapalus, though. Out of danger. Final 30 seconds of the round. Lapalus again being marched onto the cage by Duffy. Firing out a jab. Duffy hits back with a straight right hand. And again, Lapalus avoiding the exchange. I mean, Lapalus' movement in defense, but, you know, whilst it's erratic, it, it is doing the job of avoiding the most powerful strikes, but, you know, it's not presenting any offense for him. It's making him look very defensive, and really, again, the only way I think you can see that second round is a 10-9 to Joe Duffy, probably looking at 2018 throughout the first two. Damien Lapalus has got to do something really significant in the third here. Let's take a look at some of the action from that second round. Joe Duffy hunting those body shots. Tries the knee up the middle, followed by the elbow. Nice varied output from Duffy. A game with a hook to the body up against the cage. It's worked well for him throughout this fight. You can Just see here. The right hand there. Yeah, the, the, he, gets, he gets his right hand in front of uh, the Frenchman's face to create a frame, push him away, drops his hips to the floor. Textbook takedown defense there. You have to think at this stage, Josh, Damien Lapalus needs a finish. And he's got five minutes to get one. Of course, with all the excitement of the new Cage Warriors bounties, we've perhaps failed to mention that there's a finishing bonus on offer for anyone who finishes their fight within the Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final round. Still time for either Lapalus or Duffy to pick one of those checks up. Duffy throwing out the oblique kick to start off this third and final round. It's such an underrated technique, really gets your opponent worrying about how much weight they're placing on that lead leg. Again with a low kick is Lapidus. Duffy answers right back with some fast hands, ending with a nice left hook to the body. They've 
really has been the story of the fight, Josh. Duffy walking his man onto the fence, unleashing the body shots. And it was nice to see the, the flash of tempo change from Lapilus late in that second round. Let's see it again here. You know, he hasn't got a lot of time to work. He needs to try and get something going here. I mean, likewise, I'd quite like to see Joe Duffy mix the tempo up as well. You know, his striking, whilst it's very good, is quite methodical. A lot of pressure on Joe Duffy here tonight. Returning from a long hiatus to mixed martial arts. The main event on the biggest show in Europe, in his home nation, no less. I wonder if, as we get really deep into the fight, those hooks to the body are going to pay dividends for Joe Duffy. A bit of frequent target for him, and they've been landing with good success, but the Frenchman doesn't seem all that bothered by them. Oh, and there's a nice right hand from Duffy. And there was no nod of the head from Lapilus that time, Josh. No, I mean, this kind of pace, I think both guys can keep going for the, the full fight without really feeling too much fatigue. It's when you start mixing it in with extended periods of grappling like this, using the different energy systems, as Joe Duffy looks for a really good takedown, manages to connect his hands behind his opponent and heave the hips away from the fence. Duffy made that look so easy, Josh. Lapilus looking for the switch in defence as Duffy looks to move to back control here, and he's got one arm blocked. Duffy looking for the rear naked choke, Josh. Oh, and that is under the throat. Let's see if Duffy can adjust the position. Looks to get the hooks in. This is tight. It could be oh, over. He's got it. And there's the submission. Joe Duffy is back. You see, when he went to take the back there, he trapped Lapilus's left arm with his leg, and that made that choke so simple for him. Lapilus was unable to bring that left hand up to defend his neck which was the hand he needed. And lo and behold, Joe Duffy gets an excellent submission victory. Josh, you said you'd like him to walk the tempo. He must have heard you through the cage. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Yeah, it was absolute textbook takedown leading to that rear naked choke victory. And you know what? It was at will as well. You know, we're seeing the replays here. He did so such a good job of throwing in all the strikes. But here, when he dropped for the takedown, connected his hands, his back straight, Really nice work on that takedown and moving to the back was very easy for him. You see here, Lapalus's left arm is trapped. He can't bring that hand up to fight the, uh, the controlling grip of Joe Duffy. And you see how Duffy just locks his chest to the back of the neck and really pulls his arm in, squeezing with everything he's got. And Lapalus left with uh, a phenomenal submission tap. victory for Joe Duffy. Let's throw it to Joe Martinez in the cage to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Two minutes, 18 seconds. Round number three, submission by Rear Naked Joe for your winner, Irish Joe Duffy! Irish Joe Duffy back on Cage Warriors with a bang. What an absolutely phenomenal night of action we've had here, Josh. Some huge, huge submission wins, some crazy comebacks. All action as advertised at Cage Warriors 70. And guess what? We get to do it all again in just six days' time, my friend. Oh, looking forward to it.